Hi, hello. Hello, uh, hello. Today we shall be developing panel unit root test model. And here I have three variables. One is export, GDP, and import. So the data is here. You can see my data. They are here. The data is here. I open all the data that I have. You can see from here and here I have six country six country and the data is from the year until uh, from 2000 until 2010 so this one is country one data from the year 2000 until 2010 in this way country two data from 2000 until 2010 in this way country 3 country 4 country 5 and country 6 are there you can see country 6 data from year 2000 until 2010 and i have three variables export GDP and import for this six country for 10 years each sorry not 10 years I think 11 years right 2000 until until 2010 the data okay I have three variables out of three variables I shall only check GDP variable whether this GDP variable has unit root or not at a level also in the first difference and other two export and import you can do it following the same procedure that I shall show here okay so uh, so I shall proceed with the GDP variable how to proceed I go to statistics right I go to statistics then I go to panel data it is here you can see then unit root test that you can see the icon and click here okay here you can see there are many methods right many way Levin Loon Harris Brayton I am Pesaran Fisher Hajri LM right okay out of all procedure I shall check only two one is Levin right and one is Hadri okay so first I select the first one Levin Lean 2 uh, 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 model and here the variable I have GDP that I take that I want to test okay then this one actually uh, I do not select I do not select all this one and here I assume lag to be 1 I select lag 1 and because lag 1 I assume that one is optimum ok so that I put 1 then I go to panel setting panel setting ok panel ID click on it so I put ID what is ID all the country six country that I have and time variable here the time is year I have the data from the year 2000 until 2010 so I put the time here T and the variable name I put it as T so I am set I am ready I can proceed 
with my operation I select OK here okay I can select OK here you can see the result and OK here also so the result has come up you can see the result okay I make it big for you okay it is the Levin Lean 2 unit root test for GDP number of panel 6 period 11 and here the null hypothesis the null is panels contain unit root alternative panels are stationary meaning that no unit root and here uh, this one is the statistics you can see statistics and p value so statistics is minus 2.66 and the probability is very small 0.38 percent so I can easily reject null hypothesis and can accept the alternative hypothesis and and, and what is my null hypothesis null is GDP contain unit root what is alternative GDP does not have unit root meaning that stationary right okay so here I can reject the null hypothesis meaning that uh, uh, meaning that this GDP variable has become uh, does not have unit root at level right it does not have unit root at level because it reject the null hypothesis and accept the alternative hypothesis meaning that data is stationary at level okay so, so, so sorry sorry yes data is stationary at level okay th then I check what happens to this data if it is first difference right that I check also I go to statistics then as before I go to uh, panel data as before unit root as before and other things re remain unchanged okay here I take D GDP I put here D D dot you can see I put here D dot GDP meaning that first difference of GDP right then what happens other thing remain unchanged I click ok oh, sorry I think I have done mistake ok I run it again I am run again I think I, I do again I have done some mistake ok I proceed again unit root test ok here I put D, D dot am I right just double check ok D dot GDP so that I select other thing remain unchanged then I press ok the result has come up you can see so this time the variable is D GDP meaning that first difference of GDP okay what about first difference you can see null is data contain unit root and panels are stationary that is alternative hypothesis okay here what I see the p value p value is how much 17.50 meaning that it is more than 5 percent because it is 17.5 percent so I cannot reject null hypothesis rather I accept null hypothesis meaning that 
meaning that first difference of GDP has unit root right meaning that first difference of GDP uh, has unit root but but the data but but the level GDP data of GDP at level uh, does not have unit root meaning that label data was stationary but the first difference data is not stationary so that is the outcome of levin lean chu model okay now i check uh, uh, i check uh, other method that we have okay so i go to statistics as before as before panel data unit root test okay this time again i go to gdp level right i put it gdp only data in level okay this time i check the second test hadri lm stationary that I check this time and panel setting as before as before it is here right okay then I press okay then here is okay so that is the result of Hadri GDP at a level but this time null hypothesis is all panels are stationary that is the null and alternative is some panels contain unit root right and here is the jet statistics you can see jet statistics and corresponding p value so here i can reject the null hypothesis and can accept the alternative hypothesis because p value is very small less than 5% meaning that gdp data at level contain unit root okay then what i do i convert the variable into first difference then we check what happens as before I go to statistics then I go to panel data unit root test as before then this GDP I make it first difference of GDP D GDP and this this one is my method everything is set I press ok so you can see the result that Hadri D GDP, right? Hadri LMS for D GDP, and here the jet statistics how much? P value is 80.96 percent, meaning that I cannot reject null hypothesis, rather, I accept null hypothesis, meaning that. GDP data at at first difference GDP data at first difference is stationary so suppose this Hadri model I take it as a benchmark if that happens then I can say that that the GDP data at level has unit root but when I convert them into first difference then GDP data will become stationary suppose uh, we assume the Hadri LM test as as our benchmark okay now now we can run the panel co-integration model 
बिकॉज द प्री कंडीशन ऑफ पैनल को इंटीग्रेशन मॉडल इज द वेरिएबल मस्ट बी नॉन स्टेशनरी एट अ लेवल मीनिंग दैट द वेरिएबल मस्ट हैव यूनिट रूट एट अ लेवल बट वेन आई कन्वर्ट देम इन टू फर्स्ट डिफरेंस then they will become stationary and according to hadri lm test uh, this test can fulfill the condition of panel co integration model and here we have assumed that hadri lm test is our benchmark to decide so uh, 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 that is the procedure to test for unit root so in that way you can check also other test to decide right that uh, that uh, whether a a variable has unit root or not in the same so th the thing is that actually we have many way many method and and certainly certainly the result will be mixed because some method say there is no unit root and some method say there is a unit root so in that case the 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 best would be whatever the majority method talk about we should accept that result what is told by majority method so that is the guideline so far okay however uh, i have shown i have shown you how to decide and how to decide whether a variable has stationary or not and you can follow the same procedure for all test thank you very much for being with me for a while